They run again on first down, Chubb. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. On the move to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. Yeah, the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Give them a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll drop to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns add on to their lead. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled. And wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Looking underneath, he's got acres. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Gone. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watson. Nine yards the pickup there, and it's a first down. First and ten at the 41-yard line. Goff now to throw. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Evades the tackler and now some space. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. This is unbelievable. Trying to defend the out route there. Got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Gaw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Grant Delpit on the cover. The Rams on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and two. To throw is gone. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. 
And he's going to have a Rams first down as they get five there on third and two. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Go off throwing again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To the air again. Goff. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, as the defense rallies quickly after the nice move. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Seibert's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Makes the score, Browns 34, Rams 27. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. At their own 22-yard line. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. for Nick Chubb. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. On the tackle. On the carry, it's Chubb. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Makes it third and eight. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we'll get near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. <laughs> Goff on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. A shotgun snap for Gone. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. 
Out of the gun. Gone. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Cam Akers, the ball. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Going right back to Akers. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Akers. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard. Down to about the one. Short of the goal line. Second and goal from the one. Brings up second and goal. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. A one-yard run on first down, another one on second. Tell you, it doesn't do much for the yards per carry average, but it gets him six points. And I just wonder in contract negotiations, do you show the six points score or do yes. you show the yards per carry? I'm first? showing the six points. No doubt about it. And his team benefits. They don't care about yards per carry. They just care about points up on the board. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. They begin this drive with Chubb. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. At the 43-yard line. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play that time for Cleveland. 43 yards. First Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. At the 9-yard line. This will be caught at about the 6. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Dalton Keene, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns have moved out in front. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. From the gun, here's Goff. Oh, now it's Strap. He loses the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town at second and a country mile. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Goss pass, thrown away and incomplete. It's now third down and long. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now gone. They'll find Everett there, complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Chubb. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back.
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11 at the 41. We talk all the time about how important it is to have leverage and blocking. It's also a big part of policing up gaps. Did you move someone out of the A gap? Did you move them out of the B gap in order to create space for your guy to run? In this case, all those gaps were shut down. Yeah, the movement was defensive, and they got him for a loss. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports